Oh, what's up, y'all? It's Drifter from Team Legacy back on the division. Just running around doing some free exploring, basically bullshitting. Uh, hit the end game level, man. You know, it's a lot of things, man, that I want to discuss, man. And god dang, man, trying to pack all that into just 15 minutes is definitely <laughs> going to be a uh, challenge, man. So I figured, you know, I was trying to just, you know, uh, talk about like the good, the bad, and the ugly about the division, but uh, there's some you know things that you know I wanted to address, man, and point out. So a lot of people, you know, probably wondering, man, like what happens when you hit end game level? Okay, basically the enemies you encounter are going to be pretty much fairly higher level enemies, man. Most of them probably gonna be 25 or higher. And the thing is, I'm in a level 5 to 9 zone. You're probably thinking, Drifter, what the fuck, man? Why are the enemies level 25 when it says level 5 to 9? That's because I'm at rank 30. So regardless, like if I go over here, yeah, the enemies will be level 28 to 30. But down here in the starting area, they're level 25, man. So, yeah, you know, when... You know, like, if one of your friends gets the game late and you already hit that in-game level, you're either forced to create a new character and go back through the game with them, or you basically stuck tanking them through the entire game and power leveling them up. Which, uh, I guess could be fun for you, but to me, if I was the other player, man, like, that would just get boring as fuck. And, uh, pretty much, man, when you hit in-game level, it just come, becomes a grind you know for getting like the best gear in the game which leads me to my next issue the dark zone to me seems kind of pointless and you know i know there's a lot of players who enjoy the dark zone man you know i enjoyed it myself you know numerous times but the gear that the vendor sell in the dark zone require you to be level 30 to fucking wear it which you know just about all the fucking gear at the regular checkpoint vendors nice is purple man and the fucking gear is only power level 30 which isn't the best gear in the game the best gear in the game i don't know if y'all knew this or not and i'm gonna show y'all this let's say my vest okay item level 31 and that's a purple vest so that's crazy man you know like i didn't even realize i had a fucking level 31 vest man like that's crazy but the pecan you know as you can see item level 31 level requirement 30 though you know and then you go with this item level 31 but the damascus is item level 30. a lot of the stuff you get at the dark zone is is item level 30. but you know in order to like really stand a chance you know on those level 32 missions you need that item level 31 stuff which you can't get from dark zone vendors the only one you might be able to get item level 31 stuff from i, I believe you can is the vendor that's like way up at the top of the map you know what i'm saying in the dark zone and i'll bring up the map here and i'll show you which one i'm talking about and it's going to be this one right here which leads to another problem. That's in a level 32 area. Just trying to run from this checkpoint. Okay, let's zoom in. To this, you pass a landmark, which you're going to have to be dealing with level 32 enemies. And you're probably going to get fucking destroyed pretty quickly, especially if you're trying to go in there by yourself. Which leads me to my next point. If, to me, man, like, to me, this would be the best way to, like, literally get Phoenix credits, man. Like, I'm not going to lie because, I mean, it would probably take a tad bit longer because basically what you would be doing is you would be doing the daily missions. Not the challenging missions, but the daily missions. Alright? So, like, the missions you see with that little symbol right there with the yellow light on it, you would be doing those. Which would only be hard difficulties for those missions. Now, when you complete those, you get 15 Phoenix credits. And there's no only two of those missions per day. So, like, the 15 Phoenix credits plus whatever the boss drops for killing the boss. Now, you can have a maximum 
of four characters in this game. Phoenix credits is of now are shared between all four characters. So whichever character you're going to be using the most, get the best gear and just grind out those daily missions with all four characters once you hit that rank 30 that's 120 plus phoenix credits per day so in two days time you would literally be able to buy one of any item out of the tech wing in the base now i haven't done this because i just created my second character yesterday and i haven't got it to rank 30 yet but if you play the game a lot man you can hit rank 30 in a day or, or even less than a day depends on how you went about leveling it man if you were to power level it you know like basically join one of your friends who was a rank 30 character and just had them keep running you through the higher end level missions once you get let's say the security wing jump where you get the extra xp yeah you could probably hit max level in just a few hours but like i was saying you know like you do that man you come up here you look at this guy's gear right here that he sells and you look at all of it Boom, item level 31. Now, for the purple, look. Item level 31. Item level 31. For all the goals that he has, you know. 31, 31. Look, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31. I mean, just about everything he sells is item level 31. And yet, you grind so hard to hit that iconic rank 30 in the dark zone just to be able to buy that crappy purple shit from those vendors with the fucking dark zone credits that's power level 30 I mean so it's like which way is faster man grinding out the dark zone to hit rank 50 to get the high end gear and then having to spend a shit ton of phoenix credits more phoenix credits than what you would have to spend here to get level 31 gear or just make four characters you know and fucking rank up that way man it's probably a 50 50 you know thing or whatever like that i don't fucking know man but that's that's how i plan on going about playing this game anyway might not be the most efficient but what the fuck ever i don't care <laughs> um one of the other things, man, that got, you know, that kind of irks me with this game, man, is the character creation at the beginning could be a little bit better, um, <laughs> especially for the female characters, man. Like, if you want a black or Asian character, man, like, they, they, they look rough, okay? And I could think of, you, you know, quite a few... Uh, actresses or hell even actors for the guys man that they could have used you know for like the fucking body models on your characters man I mean you are a trained government agent so hell let's go with the girl that played in the movie Hannah that was basically a trained government agent man like she was basically like a teenage girl but she was badass man like she was trained to fuck shit up pretty much or hell D Devon Oki the girl that played Suki in Too Fast Too Furious she was also in like um, a couple of action movies, you know, I mean, shit, um, fucking, uh, Ronda Rousey, man, like, damn, she's a fucking MMA fighter, I believe she's been in the movie, as well, fucking, um, you can go with some fucking wrestlers, man, fucking Batista, Goldberg, fucking, uh, Bobby Lashley, man, big ass fucking black dude, I mean, goddamn, John Cena, I mean, just, the list goes on and on, man, like, you get the fucking picture, man, I mean, like, they could've did, better with the character customization that's all i'm saying but uh you know th there's definitely more pluses to this game you know than it is bad points man you know which i mean makes this game fun you know it's uh you know a lot of similarities to destiny i mean i know this is a third person shooter and not a first person shooter so you know people are gonna be like oh how can you can't compare it to destiny man because it's a third person not a first person fuck you man it's still a damn shoot to loot fucking game man like i mean you know it's an rpg you know fucking rank based game man you kill shit they drop loot you pick it up you rank up man same shit as fucking destiny man like i mean a lot of people call this game destiny 2.0 but to me this is uh 
as of right now, it's better than Destiny, but uh, we'll see what that update brings in April. I'm not holding my breath, man. It's going to add a lot more hype to Destiny, but uh, whatever. Um, anyway, I just want to make a quick video, you know, to point a little bit more stuff out on this game, man, you know, and whatnot like that, man. And just pretty much common sense is what I would call it, man. Is this dude over here hassling this woman? Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't hit a woman, bitch. Hey, hey, motherfucker. I'll shoot your mother. What's wrong with you, son? Put your hands on a woman, bitch. Shit. And she just ran off, man. I saved your life, woman. Oh, well. It's whatever. You know, I ain't, I ain't gonna stand by, man. You know why? Man puts his hand on a fucking woman, man. That's... That's wrong. The only time you should be putting your hands on a woman is if you in bed with her, you know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, man, you know, this drifter with another boring-ass uh, division video, man. I'll try to bring y'all some uh, more action-packed shit, man, where I'm actually fighting stuff or whatever, man. Right now, I need to get some sleep. <sighs> this game is definitely making me lose sleep. I don't know. I, 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 it's like I have problems sleeping. I don't know why, but... That's just me, but um. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man, and the common sense on what I'm talking about, man, and like, just subtle changes that you made, man. Like they definitely need to change the dark zone, and you know, try to just I don't know, man, make shit better, man. You know, like that's something that should have been the dark zone was in the beta, but um, what I'm saying is like they probably should have experiments experimented with the Phoenix credits or. You know, like, whatever, man. Because, like, who wants level 30 shit, man? Like, yeah, I, I got a lot of level 30 shit, but why the fuck play the Dark Zone to grind out to level 30 to be able to buy stuff from a vendor that you're not going to fucking use? I mean, just, I don't, yeah. <laughs> anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Let me know what you think of this game, you know, and, like, what you think of the Dark Zone or... You know, like, where you're going to be buying most of your high-end stuff from. I know where I'm getting mine from. The fucking uh, Tech Wing um, vendor or whatever. But, uh, yeah, man. Anyway, y'all, peace out.